I ever think of this place as home again? After all that's happened. Oh. Oh. Skull and Hardy are in Vanaheim? We learned the giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping birds. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freya, too. You won't be able to damage it without destroying the mother. It's a large, bulbous thing. You can't miss it. Giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time. We don't have the equipment for this. So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? Really 
is you. <laughs> you returned to us at last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne, we'll rebuild me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me. Please. I... I thought you were dead. Yeah. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. Oh, I missed you so much. I was about to say, stop doing this, like, Viking... Norm like hands on chest, just hug, bro. Like, what? what do you mean Just hug. There you go. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help though. And I will come back. <laughs> Hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. <laughs> Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare head. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if and you ain't staying here, bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal here. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. 
Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother, here to meet our new allies. Or shall we depart? Um, I want to. You suppose that big fella we're traveling with might want to help me with a thing? Mayhaps. Now and again, he's in the mood to make you fool. What is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the river delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. I'm so frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An ore. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the strap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. Can't even tell me. Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge. Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. Tell me about the camp dog. Lord Freyer found her half dead. Mess some folks up. No refunds. Ready when you are. Good or what? You make up your mind. Shut up, bro. Lady Freya? What are you looking for? What? You just came to stare? Damn, Brooke. You're hell. You're looking at the your ass. I knew we'd left something behind. We? You weren't even there. Damn. I'm trying to access the map, and it's just not doing it. I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. 
either of you. You have my word. <laughs> 